So they were supposed to be delivering supplies, but they got waylaid, deterred, harassed, harangued, accosted, attacked, uh, insulted, diverted. Someone pooped on them. Possibly. I feel like this is not the way we're supposed to go. Oh, wait, I see the thing. Must be through this passageway. Oh, all right. To Charizard Canyon. Like, Whoa! Whoa. All right, let's find this missing caravan. Yes. They have been postponed. Excuse me? Something exploded? Who's that? That's some random guy who blew up some... Well, he wasn't hostile, but he is now. Always causing damage. Okay, he's dead. You barely survived that. Uh, what was the point of any of that? I'm worried. I Sorry. thought Goodman was a respected scientist and filmmaker, but I'm starting to think he's just crazy. He's been mumbling about how they left him behind, then starts babbling about Doolittle, Breach, Pretzels, and Whistles. He's so angry. Once this little trip is done, I'm going to say adios. This will be good news for my resume, but that's it. Maybe I can get on board with Zach. Oh, was he going to join us? Mm, nope. What do you mean, nope? He was clapping for us. Well, he's not going to join us now, because he's dead. Hey, look, geckos. Those aren't kind Samaritans. We can blow them up with impunity. That's right, geckos. You didn't stand a chance. Yeah, how dare you be geckos. What did you do with that caravan? Answer us. Keep that one alive. We can interrogate it. Never mind. A Brahmin, that may have been part of the caravan. I bet it was. Ooh. I found a gyro jet carbine. I have no, I've never heard of that before. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mini rocket launcher. How oh, is it now? Yep, not even kidding. It's literally a tiny rocket launcher. When the firing pin is struck, the little tiny rocket actually takes off out the end of the gun, <laughs> and it's, it's spin stabilized so that the, the, the jets come out of the, the back of the rocket at like an angle, which makes it spin as it oh, goes through the air. Gyroscopically stabilized. Yes. Is it related to the gyro jet pistol? Yeah. It's one of the only guns that the bullet actually starts going faster after it leaves the barrel. That's not how the laws of physics work. Because it's the rocket has to get up to speed. Fascinating, almost fantasy weapon. Yeah, they're really, it's, it's definitely this weird, like, space age future gun. Shoots magic. Yeah, another one of these paths. Very well, very well. Welcome to Ghost Hideaway. There's lots of dogs. Also, uh, I need to, like, close this valve. Bit of a gas leak. That, okay. Uh, I cannot close the valve. All right. Well, there's a gas leak, so don't breathe. Also, there's a tripwire that you tripped over. There's a few of them, actually. There's quite a few booby traps here, it would seem. We may have to advance a bit more slowly. Excuse me? Yep. Oh, they booby trapped the coyote's body. <sighs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> This is gonna be fun, I can already tell. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs! No, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Ah! <laughs> this is gonna be great. No, no! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. And, yeah, yeah, it's, it's probably gone off by now, right? Almost certainly. Alright, and we're back. I fucking hate this game. I hate this game so much. <laughs> oh! Hey, you barely survived that time! Hooray! <laughs> oh, boy. That really, that really hurt. Looks like you built up an immunity to explosions over time. Yeah, it happened so many times that I, uh, I just didn't, uh, didn't die from that one. Good lord. There's another tripwire. Well, they've already been tripped. We set up all the uh, booby traps at this point, so we should be good to go. I wonder if there's even going to be anybody alive, though, because they probably put so many explosives. It's like they <laughs> it's like they wired a nuclear weapon to a tripwire. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if this... Was it this guy? Was he, was he going to talk to us when he's dead probably. now? Probably. Possibly. We, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I think it just killed everybody that was in here. Well, these all guys all look like raiders, so I, maybe it's for the best. Where's the caravan supplies? Or what's remaining of them after the explosions? Oh, hey, someone's still alive. <laughs> hey, how'd you live? <laughs> <It's living. laughs> Is this your cave? Did we kill all your guys or did you kill them all because you couldn't trust them? 
This is a fun shootout. I like this shootout. Yowza, bo bowza, that's loudza. <laughs> he had a Mateba. He was shooting me with a Mateba. I have a Mateba again! Yay! You already had one, it was back in storage. I had one a lot. No, it wasn't back in storage. I had one a long time ago, and then something broke, and I didn't get one, and I was like, oh, hey, we should just inventory edit me a Mateba. And you said, no, we'll find one eventually. And that was four years ago! <laughs> we found the gun four years later! All right, now we can go turn these supplies back in. A Deathclaw matriarch and her young have been drawn by the pungent scent of blood left by the caravan ambush. She gently exhorts her brood to feast on the corpses so that they may grow strong and fully enjoy the role of apex predator. It is a touching display of maternal affection. Oh. Here comes that display of maternal affection. Get him, Billy. That's right, cover us. Ow. Billy's a tank, he can take it from both sides. As needed. You, however. Oh my god! Quite a long reach on that death claw! <laughs> Remember to tell me after life. There's no free punch. PSA combat routines activated! Congratulations! <laughs> you have enraged an actual demonic killing machine in combat. What? You have less than two minutes to live. Robco hopes you enjoy the cold, dark, empty nothingness that awaits. This has been a Robco <laughs> public service announcement. What? Great! In her death throes, the death claw matriarch dies. Ah! <laughs> there was the, the patriarch. You forgot about him. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> wow, that thing is just soaking in the damage, eh? I need to remember that shotgun. Shotgun is just better than everything. Want to engage me in combat? That's a funny joke. Did we already kill it? Oh, there it is. Here comes the Patriarch. This isn't a fight. It's a mercy killing. There goes the Patriarch. Bye, Patriarch. Oh, there, uh, now it's coming to us. Yo! Okay, there's... so that will just one hit. What am I supposed to fucking do here? Oh no, the Death Claw died of a heart attack. Well, ripping pepperonis. Well, we got the supplies. Let's report back in. Woo! That was a bit more tricky than we anticipated, but- It wasn't tricky, that was just frustrating and stupid. Yes, but if one were to describe that generously, they would say tricky. So I said tricky. X V2 rock around SX tricky. And now we walk back, fuming in silence. Buddy Chicken, where are you? I need you. Buddy Chicken, I need you. <laughs> oh, Buddy Chicken. <laughs> Dance for me, please. <laughs> when your days are dark, have no fear, Buddy Chicken is here. Ah, uh, let's keep going, Buddy Chicken. Fucking love Buddy Chicken. <laughs> yes, sir. I recovered the missing supplies from a group of raiders called the Ghosts. The Ghosts? I thought we wiped them out in Bullhead. Anyway, good on you for seeing things through and recovering the supplies. Speak with me when you're ready for the next gig. I'm ready for the next gig right now. Yes, sir. To be fair, though, the ghosts largely blew themselves up with booby traps. You mentioned another job? We've got a little time before the rangers get back, and if there is going to be trouble, I'd like to use that time training these troops. Most of them are conscripts with just rudimentary training. If what I've heard is true, you know quite a bit about fighting. Nuh-uh. And I'd like to pass some of that on to these grunts, if you're willing. But once again, the issue is time. Since you're the one doing the teaching, I'm going to defer to your judgment on this. What would you like to emphasize? He has seen his fair share of combat. What would you like uh, to prioritize? Let's blow him up. That works for me. I'll go ahead and get him formed up. We'll start with the instruction. By the way, Ranger Josie radioed in. He'll be here shortly. Feel free to check in with him once we're done with training. Through detailed instruction, I have improved the explosive skills of all the troopers. Good, good. If I'm sure that will not be any help whatsoever. If we hadn't done that, they probably would have planted booby traps and blown themselves up as the ghosts did. Oh, God, probably. They're not very smart. Hey. Hey, Josie. Huh? So what happened with the slaves? This big group of them. They coming across the river in droves, mostly women and children. That's all that's left. The men mostly died off fighting in this big old battle there. 
fellow by the name of Titus Atticus apparently stomped the living shit out of him. Neat. Worst thing about all this is big old Legion army is chasing them as they come this way. They're just killing every slave they see. It's ugly. Oh, damn. It's going to get bad here. Uh, I don't think Lieutenant Hodges there appreciates just how serious this is. I don't know nothing about them funny Legion units, but if we were going by our sizes, I'd say there's about a battalion bearing down on us. Cool. All we got to do is get these troopers squared away. Also, see if we can get some of these slaves to fight for us. Yeah, if they get here with enough time, I suppose, but if the Legion is hot on their heels, we may not be able to. Right, why, don't you, why don't we just retreat? Normally, I'd say fuck yeah, but most of these slaves is, hell, walking wounded or plain exhausted. They can't move at all. Yeah, fuck them. Who cares? We're keeping them all shacked up in a cave back there. Only thing between that army and them is gonna be us here. Zach raises a good point, though. We do have limited resources, and even though saving slaves it might be noble, is there a reason for us to do this from a tactical standpoint? Yeah, tell them to stay on their side of the river. <laughs> uh, what's the Legion strategy? They're going to come over, chunk some spears, shoot, shoot a few mortars over, and they're going to scream and yell <laughs> some retribution bullshit. That's about it. I bet you got some interesting stories from your time as a ranger. You got that right. Been all over, from Baja all the way and back. What you want to know about? Did you ever serve with Craig Boone? Intolerable guy, wears a red beret all the time, won't shut up about his wife. Yeah, I met that asshole. Serious as a serial killer. We shared barracks for stretch back in 79. It was tight quarters, so we had to get pretty familiar with each other. He spent most of his time scowling and cleaning his rifle. He still your underpants? One day, he got all pissed off when he found me jerking off in his rack. <laughs> I said I wasn't moving, and he pulled a fucking piece on me. <laughs> that was a dilemma. Blue balls or a bullet in the brain. Motherfucker tried to bulldog me, stare me down. <laughs> so I unloaded like a true ranger. All over his blue sleeping bag. God damn it. Nothing like rubbing one out with a loaded gun aimed at your face. It was quite a thrill. You are weird. I tried to get a hooker to duplicate the scene, you know, as a fetish. <laughs> she shot herself in the foot. Oh, gee. Oh, well. You are an interesting person, Josie. Who's the most dangerous person you've met? Look, I don't scare easy, but I'll admit... There's one fellow that made me nervous. Better not say Marco. He was some kind of doctor. Dr. Duluth? Dalliance? The doctor disaster? It made no goddamn sense because he wasn't like any doctor I ever met. He was fun. I liked him. I was a bit under the influence when I saw this guy near Good Springs, so some of the details might be hazy. Wait, Doc Mitchell? Anyway, this guy was pale with a big mustache and... Crazy glint in his eyes. <laughs> Fucking Doc Mitchell. Wore a duster and a big ass cowboy hat like some kind of Brahmin hunter. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what was weird was his crew. A zombie. Oh, Dr. Doolittle. Death Claw, a robot, and some psycho kid. To top it off, there was a rad roach. Oh. <laughs> now you might be saying, this simple motherfucker was high, seeing things. I only had two hits of Jeff that day. I know what I saw. The doctor said he was looking for somebody named Ronald... Dillinger? Dick in her? Oh, oh uh, Dillinger, that's it. Asked if I could help them track him down. I wasn't really occupied, so I said okay. Wrong fucking choice. <laughs> yeah, nobody gets those references. We wander around for a bit, sort of aimlessly. He starts singing about goot in a boot. If he wasn't singing... He was talking to the Death Claw. Anyway, we rolled up on some raiders. That crew of his was mopping them up before I could get my gun out of the holster. <laughs> what scared me was how he just kept singing. <laughs> you know, it's understandable. Shooting. On top of it all, he blew all their heads off <laughs> after they were dead. It's pretty satisfying, I gotta say. There he was, singing like a mad hatter, covered in brains and blood. 
and he breaks out Goo Goo Bars. <laughs> I politely refused, and while his crew was chowing down, I made my exit. As I slipped away, I could still hear him singing. <laughs> People who sing all the it time are weird. Never trust them. Haunts my dreams. <laughs> Marvelous. All right, one more. All right, what you want to know? Uh, you ever met Russell? Yeah, I know old Cyclops there from way back in the Desert Rangers. He's kind of a hard ass. Yeah, I see you give me the stink eye. Singular, <laughs> motherfucker. He's got that dour disposition. He's got that dour disposition because he looks like he tried to make out with a cheese grater. <laughs> How'd you end up in the military? Well, I was kind of a hellraiser when I was young, like Joaquin, my cousin. It was enlistment or jail. Well, I signed up. That's all there is to it. Yeah, fair enough. Why'd you become a ranger? Well, I'd gone infantry, so I figured I was already at maximum suck doing that. <laughs> So, what the fuck did I have to lose? Turns out the barrel of suck goes a hell of a lot lower than I figured. Yes, it does. Example, standing in this shithole. Yup. A lot of people think that joining the military is a nice alternative to jail, but once you're here, you realize you've made the wrong choice. At least when you get out of the military, you maybe don't have a felony. Been in over 50 engagements, shots, beard, stab. I'm still standing here. Stop getting stabbed. The last place was... Firebase Zulu. Well, that was a nice little piece of hell. I've heard rumors of that place. What the hell happened there? I've never heard of it. Well, leading came with, I don't know, about a thousand men. We were up on this hill there. There's a lot of artillery, and it was bad. In the end, we just kind of held them off there. Lost a lot of good men, but uh, that's, that's how it goes. Worst part of it is we're giving the fucking thing up now. Damn silver mines dried up. Politicians say it ain't worth dying over no more. Yeah, I think that's what they call a a pubic victory. You know, <laughs> yes. it's kind of like where you have sex with this skank you don't like. <laughs> think you're getting her, but then she gives you crabs. You find them a few days later. Kind of like that. I guess. You know, you asking me questions, I'm going to ask you one. What uh -oh. was all that business up there in Utah? Heard you got shot up, town got killed, and a bunch of other mess. You heard about that. What really happened up there? Mike died. Um, I got better, though. Several people tried to betray me. Well, shit happens. One time I fucked up an op because I was too busy whacking off in the foxhole, but... Of course. Hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> Just human, right? Yeah, exactly. All I've seen from you is somebody who went through hell and... Came out on the other side, at least with some of their integrity intact. Right there, something to be proud of. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Alright, what do you need me to do? Me and Watson will see to the slaves. You need to talk to the CO about wrangling up some reinforcements. So get on it. Okay, I'll go do that. Off we go! Off we go! Wait, it's hold on, let's talk to the people in the foxhole first. Yeah. Or is it just going to be them cursing at each other again? Hey! 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 Wait, hang on, hang on. Go back to your side! I was always a fool <laughs> for my Johnny. Not now! Ah! Uh -uh. No, I hate for that song! The one they call Johnny Guitar. It's not that bad. Yes, it is! Cuddy, I can put up with a lot. The farts, <laughs> the bullshit, the grab ass. Whatever. But if you sing that fucking song again, I'm gonna shoot you right in the fucking face. I'll fucking help! The fuck is your problem? You're like everybody else, hating on a good fucking song. It isn't! That's a great track. It's not bad. It's got a lot of soul and heart in it. No, it doesn't! It's fucking great. You're just upset because it's not a song about the plight of the of the downtrodden ghouls. <laughs> well, fucking where? This has fuck all to do with the legitimate plight of the ghouls. <laughs> this is about good and evil. Johnny Guitar was written and performed by Satan. You're an agent of the devil. You fucking know that. When you sing that song, you are in league with Satan. Yes! Oh, excuse me. You're gonna throw some holy water on me? F fucking Father Cocker there? You could Josie Nothing do it. Satanic about Johnny Guitar. It's a song about love and life. 
you just don't appreciate either one of those things because all you've got is hate in your heart <laughs> and your self-pity about being a ghoul. Oh, excuse me. I'm a zombie. My skin melts and I have some cataracts and shit. Oh, I'm the most pitiful fucking creature. You have to feel sorry for me. Boo fucking who, bitch. Again with the Z word. You got no fucking respect for decency, courtesy, basic fucking morality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're a fucking devil worshiper. Your soul is gonna burn in hell. Not just for that song, but for everything you do here. <laughs> Hope you like Satan ramming his dick up your ass, because that's what's gonna happen to you. He's gonna fucking ejaculate magma into your asshole for all of eternity. That's what you fucking deserve. You fucking irreverent, no fucking taste having mutant fucking asshole. You think I'm scared of the devil? He doesn't scare me. What's in the master's army, bitch? I'm gonna fucking take that shit. Try to put his dick in me, I'm gonna snap it right off. I'm gonna come back from hell, I'm gonna beat you to death with the devil's dick. Yeah! That right there proves how far gone you are. You don't play games when you're talking about the devil's genitalia. It's a fucking serious thing. You don't play games with that kind of shit. You're gonna get struck by lightning, and I'm gonna laugh. Oh yeah? I was always Oh my god, alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm not listening to this song. Okay, god damn it! I'll fucking stop, you oh, son of a bitch! God damn right! Bit of taste of an asshole fucking mute, make an asshole chubby bitch! Shit, what the fuck are you talking about? 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 Nasty fucking thing. Look at me fucking cross-eyed jerking off on my fucking rack. Shut up. What am I gonna fucking do?